Hey, what's up, Rob? It's been, uh, what, a whole six hours since I've seen you last, yeah. I think? I think six hours, 18 minutes, and 42 seconds. Yeah, like, yeah exactly. Something like that. For those <laughs> of you that don't know, this is the incredible Mr. Rob Dixon, the musical mayor of Indianapolis. Right. Thanks for joining us today, man. It's good to be here, man. Great to see you doing your thing here on Indie Style. It's awesome. Working on it, man. Yeah. So just real quick, you know, you weren't born here in Indianapolis. You're from Atlanta initially, um, but you've definitely made your career here in Indianapolis. What has kept you here in Indianapolis? I just think the scene is just so vibrant, you know, and it seems like there's such a strong, well, there is a strong legacy of jazz and just music, blues, and so many great, uh, such has a great music history. And right now, it just, I mean, it's been the last 20, 25 years, it just seems like. Things keep getting better and better and stronger and stronger in the arts community, so it really is a great place to be. Cool. You know, tell us a little bit just briefly what you have coming up for this summer. I mean, things are opening back up now, so the virtual component may not be exclusive this year for things like Jazz Fest and other things happening. Right. So, personally, me, I'm doing, I'm just gigging a lot. You know, I'm working three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine gigs. Per usual. Right. <laughs> but um, as far as Indie Jazz Fest, we have like, you know, the pandemic taught us a lot of great things and incorporating virtual components to live music and to live concerts is something we're going to try to do this year. Uh, you know, uh, last year we did three commissions where we did virtual programming and you were one of the commissionees yeah. and it was fantastic. It worked so great that um, we want to take uh, what we did last year with you and Native Son and Charlie Ballantyne and do it with two more commissions. So we'll have Steve Ali and Kitty Phelps do a commission. That's great. Um, yeah, and then we also have uh, our, our friend Richard Floyd booking for us. So he's booking a lot of national talent. That sounds great. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's play something, man. You want to? Okay, yeah. absolutely. Let's do, um, you know, I wrote a tune for my mom called Teresa. I always got to give my shout outs where I can, music or otherwise. Let's do it. All right. Two, three. <laughs> Awesome. Oh Thanks for having goodness. me. You guys, that's so good. You're so talented. Jerry, you should just come back on over here with me that's and hang. Good. How about that? And I want to say, as you put down your lovely saxophone, we are so proud that you, my man, are part of our Wish TV special. So this celebrates Pride Month. You have to be so excited about this. Yeah, you and know. proud to be a part of it. It's been a lot of fun just because the way that years old. Pride has really changed over the last few years. It's all about representation for me in, in yeah. whatever way that you do it. So I was just glad to be to be asked about that. Well, we are so glad that you are as well. This special is really going to be great, you guys. You can tune in tonight at 6.30 on Wish TV. Of course, you hear him talking right there. You can learn more about his musical background, how the saxophone and inspires him and how being gay and black fits in to his artistic composition. Plus, we have stories celebrating Pride right here in central Indiana. It is really a community coming together. I love to support another community as well, and I really think that's what it's all about. It definitely is. Yeah. Very well said. Oh, well thank you so much.